So I am here at Fort and Bell. We are waiting for the parade. It hasn't gotten to us just yet. But I wanted to introduce you to Aaron Brock, who is here all the way from Chattanooga, Tennessee. In fact, you could probably tell as soon as she started talking that she's from someplace else. So this is your first pride parade. It is. And it means very, something very, very special to you this year. It is, because it's now legal for all of us to get married. And you live in? Tennessee. Right. So now before Friday, when the decision came down from the Supreme Court, of course, that's what we're talking about, um, you couldn't have gotten married in Tennessee. No. But no. you were engaged anyway. I am, since 2012. Have you been waiting for things to change? Oh, yeah. yeah. Waiting patiently. Well, you could have gotten married here in Washington State. You could have gotten married in 35, 37 other states. I know. It's not the same because it wouldn't have been legally recognized in the state of Tennessee. All right. So now you're looking forward to this parade, I would expect. Yes, very much so. Okay. But well, we look forward to it as well. And we are going to stay here at Fourth and Bell. If you want to talk to me, I'm available. You can come and see me. And um, while we're waiting for the parade to pass by us as well. But Deborah Horn, live at Fourth and Bell, waiting on the Pride Parade. We know it started.